A standard gauge railway is a railway with a track gauge of 1,435 mm in. The standard gauge is also called Stevenson gauge after George Stevenson, international gauge, UIC gauge, uniform gauge, normal gauge and European gauge in the European Union and Russia. It is the most widely used railway track gauge across the world, with approximately 55% of the lines in the world using it. All high-speed rail lines use standard gauge except those in Russia, Finland, Portugal and Uzbekistan. The distance between the inside edges of the rails is defined to be 1,435 mm except in the United States and on some heritage British lines, where it is still defined in U.S. customary units as exactly 4 feet 8 and 1 half inches, 0.1 mm larger than the metric standard. History As railways developed and expanded, one of the key issues was the track gauge the distance, or width, between the inner sides of the rails to be used. Different railways used different gauges, and where rails of different gauge met, a gauge break. Loads had to be unloaded from one set of rail cars and re-loaded onto another, a time-consuming and expensive process. The result was the adoption throughout a large part of the world of a standard gauge of 1,435 mm 4 feet 8 and a half in, allowing interconnectivity and interoperability. Topic origins A popular legend that has been around since at least 1937 traces the origin of the 1,435 mm 4 feet 8 and a half in gauge even further back than the coalfields of northern England, pointing to the evidence of rutted roads marked by chariot wheels dating from the Roman Empire. It is curious that the Roman pace or passus was 4.855 feet or 1,435 mm, a thousand such was one Roman mile. Snopes categorized this legend as false, but commented that it is perhaps more fairly labeled as true, but for trivial and unremarkable reasons. The historical tendency to place the wheels of horse-drawn vehicles approximately 5 feet 1524 mm apart probably derives from the width needed to fit a cart horse in between the shafts. In addition, while road traveling vehicles are typically measured from the outermost portions of the wheel rims and there is some evidence that the first railways were measured in this way as well, it became apparent that for vehicles traveling on rails it was better to have the wheel flanges located inside the rails, and thus the distance measured on the inside of the wheels and, by extension, the inside faces of the rail heads was the important one. There was never a standard gauge for horse railways, but there were rough groupings. In the north of England, none was less than 4 feet. Mm. Wylam Colliery's system, built before 1763, was 5 feet, 1524 mm, as was John Blenkinsop's Middleton Railway. The old 4 feet, 1219 mm plateway was relayed to 5 feet, 1524 mm, so that Blenkinsop's engine could be used. Others were 4 feet 4 in 1,321 mm in Beamish or 4 feet 7.5 in 1,410 mm in Biggs Main in Wallsend, Kenton, and Coxlodge. The English railway pioneer George Stevenson spent much of his early engineering career working for the coal mines of County Durham. He favoured 4 feet 8 in 1,422 mm for wagonways in Northumberland and Durham, and used it on his Killingworth line. The Hetton and Springwell wagonways also used this gauge. Stevenson's Stockton and Darlington Railway was built primarily to transport coal from mines near Shildon to the port at Stockton on Tees. The initial gauge of 4 feet 8 in 1422 mm was set to accommodate the existing gauge of hundreds of horse-drawn children wagons that were already in use on the wagonways in the mines. The railway used this gauge for 15 years before a change was made to the 4 feet 8 and a half in gauge. The historic Mount Washington Cog Railway, the world's first mountain climbing rack railway, is still in operation in the 21st century, and has used the earlier 4 feet 8 in gauge since its inauguration in 1868. George Stevenson used the 4 feet 8 and a half in gauge including a belated extra 1 half in 12.7 mm a free movement to reduce binding on curves for the Liverpool and Manchester Railway authorized in 1826 and opened the 30th of September 1830 
The success of this project led to Stevenson and his son Robert being employed to engineer several other larger railway projects. Thus the 4 feet 8.5 gauge became widespread and dominant in Britain. Robert was reported to have said that if he had had a second chance to choose a standard gauge, he would have chosen one wider than 4 feet 8.5 in 1,435 mm. I would take a few inches more, but a very few, during the gauge war with the Great Western Railway, standard gauge was called narrow gauge, in contrast to the Great Western's 7 feet 1 quarter in 2140 mm broad gauge. The modern use of the term narrow gauge for gauges less than standard did not arise for many years, until the first such locomotive hauled passenger railway, the Festinog Railway was built. Topic. Adoption In 1845, in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, a Royal Commission on Railway Gauges reported in favour of a standard gauge. The subsequent Gauge Act ruled that new passenger carrying railways in Great Britain should be built to a standard gauge of 4 feet 8 and a half in 1435 mm and those in Ireland to a new standard gauge of 5 feet 3 in 1600 mm. In Great Britain, Stevenson's gauge was chosen on the grounds that existing lines of this gauge were eight times longer than those of the rival 7 feet 2134 mm, later 7 feet 1 quarter in 2140 mm gauge adopted principally by the Great Western Railway. It allowed the broad gauge companies in Great Britain to continue with their tracks and expand their networks within the limits of deviation and the exceptions defined in the Act. After an intervening period of mixed gauge operation, tracks were laid with three rails. The Great Western Railway finally completed the conversion of its network to standard gauge in 1892. In northeast England, some early lines in colliery, coal mining areas were 4 feet 8 in 1422 mm, while in Scotland some early lines were 4 feet 6 in 1372 mm. All these lines had been widened to standard gauge by 1846. The British gauges converged starting from 1846 as the advantages of equipment interchange became increasingly apparent. By the 1890s, the entire network was converted to standard gauge. The Royal Commission made no comment about small lines narrower than standard gauge to be called narrow gauge, such as the Festinog Railway. Thus it permitted a future multiplicity of narrow gauges in the UK. It also made no comments about future gauges in British colonies, which allowed various gauges to be adopted across the colonies. Parts of the United States, mainly in the Northeast, adopted the same gauge, because some early trains were purchased from Britain. The American gauges converged, as the advantages of equipment interchange became increasingly apparent. Notably, all the 5 feet 1524 mm broad gauge track in the South was converted to almost standard gauge 4 feet 9 in 1448 mm over the course of 2 days beginning on the 31st of May 1886 see track gauge in the United States in continental Europe France and Belgium adopted a 1500 mm 4 feet 11 and a 16th in gauge measured between the midpoints of each rail's profile for their early railways the gauge between the interior edges of the rails the measurement adopted from 1844 differed slightly between countries, and even between networks within a country for example, 1440 mm or 4 feet 8 and 11 sixteenths into 1445 mm or 4 feet 8 and 7 eighths in in France. The first tracks in Austria and in the Netherlands had other gauges 1,000 mm or 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in in Austria for the Dunau Moldi linen and 1,945 mm or 6 feet 4 and 9 sixteenths in in the Netherlands for the Hollandsche Azer and Spoorweg Machapige, but for interoperability reasons the first rail service between Paris and Berlin began in 1849, first Che timetable Germany adopted standard gauges, as did most other European countries. The modern method of measuring rail gauge was agreed in the first Bern Rail Convention of 1886, according to the Revue Générale des Schumers de Verre, July 1928. <laughs> Early railways by gauge <laughs> 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 
Topic: Non-standard gauge. Monkland and Kirkintilloch Railway, authorized 1824 and opened 1825, used 4 feet 6 in 1,372 mm. Dundee and Newtile Railway, authorized 1829 and opened 1831, used 4 feet 6 and a half in 1,384 mm. The Eastern Counties Railway, authorized on the 4th of July 1836, used 5 feet 1,524 mm. The London and Blackwall Railway, authorized on the 28th of July 1836, used 5 feet 1/2 in 1,537 mm. The Dundee and Arbroath Railway, incorporated on the 19th of May 1836 and opened October 1838, used 5 feet 6 in 1,676 mm until standardized in 1847. The Arbroath and Forfar Railway, incorporated on the 19th of May 1836 and opened November 1838, used 5 feet 6 in 1,676 mm. The Northern and Eastern Railway, authorized on the 4th of July 1836, used 5 feet 1,524 mm gauge. Aberdeen Railway, opened 1848, used 5 feet 6 in 1,676 mm until standardized. Topic: <laughs> Almost standard gauge. The Killingworth Colliery Railway, used 4 feet 8 in 1,422 mm. The Hedden Colliery Railway, opened 1822, used 4 feet 8 in 1,422 mm. The Stockton and Darlington Railway, authorized 1821, opened 1825, used 4 feet 8 in 1,422 mm. The Manchester and Leeds Railway, authorized on the 4th of July 1836, used 4 feet 9 in 1448 mm. The 4 feet 9 in 1448 mm railways were intended to take 4 feet 8 and a half in 1435 mm gauge vehicles and allow a second running tolerance. The Chester and Birkenhead Railway, authorized on the 12th of July 1837, used 4 feet 9 in 1448 mm. The London and Brighton Railway, authorized on the 15th of July 1837, used 4 feet 9 in 1448 mm. The Grand Junction Railway, authorized 1833, opened 1837, connected to LMR the Manchester and Birmingham Railway, authorized on the 30th of June 1837, used 4 feet 9 in 1448 mm. The trams in Dresden, authorized in 1872 as horse cars, used 1440 mm, 4 feet 8 and 11 in gauge vehicles. Converted to 600 volts DC electric trams in 1893, they now use 1,450 mm 4 feet 9 and 3 30 seconds in, both gauges are within the tolerance for standard gauge. The trams in Nuremberg nominally used 1,432 mm 4 feet 8 and 3 8 in during much of their existence, but have since been converted to standard gauge in name as well as fact. Topic standard gauge The Liverpool and Manchester Railway, authorized 1824, opened 1830, the St. Etienne Lyon Railway, authorized 1826, opened 1833, all the early French railways, including St. Etienne Andresieux, authorized 1823, opened 1827, had a French gauge of 1,500 mm, 4 feet 11 and a 16th in, from rail axis to rail axis, compatible with early standard gauge tolerances. The Dublin and Kingstown Railway, authorized 18 1831, opened for passenger traffic 1834. The Newcastle and Carlisle Railway, authorized 1829, opened 1834, isolated from LMR. The Grand Junction Railway, authorized 1833, opened 1837, connected to LMR. The London and Birmingham Railway, authorized 1833, opened 1838, connected to LMR. The Manchester and Birmingham Railway, authorized 1837, opened 1840, connected to LMR. The Birmingham and Gloucester Railway, authorized 1836, opened 1840, Connected to LMR, the London and Southampton Railway, authorized 1834, opened 1840. The London and Brighton Railway, authorized 1837, opened 1841. 
The South Eastern Railway, authorized 1836, opened 1844. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Dual gauge Cheltenham and Great Western Union Railway, authorized 1836, opened 1840, dual gauge 1843 4 feet 8 and a half in 1435 mm standard gauge and 7 feet 1 quarter in 2140 mm. Topic: <laughs> Modern almost standard gauge railways. The Toronto Transit Commission uses 1,495 mm 4 feet 10 and 7 eighths in gauge on its streetcar and subway lines, which was actually closer to 1,520 mm 4 feet 11 and 27 30 seconds in gauge. However, the Eglinton Crosstown line will use 1,435 mm 4 feet 8 and a half in gauge. Trams in Dresden, Germany use 1450 mm, 4 feet 9 and 3/30 seconds in. Trams in Leipzig, Germany use 1458 mm, 4 feet 9 and 13/30 seconds in. 1445 mm, 4 feet 8 and 7/8 in gauges in use on several urban rail transit systems in Europe. Trams in Italy. Madrid Metro only metro system. Light rail system uses 1,435 mm 4 feet 8 and a half in gauge. The MTR in Hong Kong uses 1,432 mm 4 feet 8 and 3 eighths in gauge on lines owned by the MTR Corporation. However, lines formerly operated but which continue to be owned by the Kowloon Canton Railway Corporation, including the light rail network, use 1,435 mm in gauge. The Bucharest Metro uses 1,432 mm in gauge. The Washington Metro uses 4 feet 8 and a quarter, 1429 mm, 1 quarter in 6 mm narrower than standard gauge. The Mount Washington Cog Railway, the world's oldest mountain climbing rack and pinion railway, uses a 4 feet 8 in 1422 mm gauge. Topic: <laughs> Installations. Topic: Non-rail use. Several states in the United States had laws requiring road vehicles to have a consistent gauge to allow them to follow ruts in the road. Those gauges were similar to railway standard gauge. Topic: See also. Standard gauge toy trains. List of track gauges List of tram systems by gauge and electrification Track gauge Regulating the gauge of Railways Act 1846 Notes <laughs>